Hello guys, SBR Architects here. Today we are going to create a concrete staircase like this one. As you can see here, we have a glass handrail outside and also we have concrete rail in the inner side, which is a structural element for this staircase. Maybe this is a very basic stair, but it's very elegant, I think, and I couldn't stop myself to model this one. Alright, let's get into the job. Here we are in ArcCAD as before and we have a stair tool but in this stair tool as we can see here we cannot see circular stair model for this one. We have two options for model this. First one is we can just draw a basic straight stair like so and we click. When we see this reference blue line we can change this and turn this into a curve. But this one is going to be hard to see the end result. In order to do this one, let's go back to the stair. And this one, let's click here. And we have this arc by center point. But this center point, the first distance will be the radius. And for this stair model, it could be 30 cm distance. Let's just try 30 cm, if not we can change it later because this is ArchiKit. So I hit the shift and hit the tab key to lock it and input 30. After that as you can see here I can complete my stair. And this is going to be the landing. Let's audit this and hit the amp. Yeah it's 60 but the stair is 1 meter. I want to make this 120 centimeters. And also I want to change the inner radius but not like this. First I'm gonna find the center point just power over that and we will see the center point and I'm gonna make a line inside that. Or instead of that you can just make a circle Maybe from here. Yeah, this can get the job. And this time I'm gonna input here 50. And after that I'm gonna mesh the this reference line to my reference circle. Once I have placed the second point, I can easily change the curve edge and align them like so now we can go to the 3d window and see what we have here but i think it's a very short stair we need to change its settings let's hit ctrl plus t and i'm gonna make the top link to second story and i'm gonna increase the stair number and as you can see, this number is also changing, riser height, just like that, and click OK. It's pink because we have an error here, and we can see from here, bottom and top stair has invalid height. Alright, I have the problem is we cannot make the whole stair with just single stair system. So, I'm gonna turn back to the story 1 and copy again to here and I'm gonna mesh the first one and the second one in order to achieve this we are going to delete the finishing parts of the stairs just like that And as you can see, we can see the lines better. Now they are union. Okay, so we are going to make our side parts. Let's get into the stairs, go to structure, and we are going to add stringers, left and right. 
but I want them to be straight. So in the settings, I'm going to change this setting to straight. Just like that. But we have gaps here, so we can change the stringer's height and align with the stair button. Let's go to structure and our structure thickness is 20 centimeters. So we are going to add an additional 20 centimeters here. And let's try once more. There we go. Maybe this is the time to change the material settings. Let's just overwrite beam surface and make it, I don't know, a beige. And I'm gonna change the structure to a beige color or only bottom part. By the way, if you want to make equal beam visibility for the inner and outer part, we can just go into the settings and turn off uniform. But I don't know which is left or right. I think left one is this. So I'm gonna make this 30 or 35. And for the right, I'm gonna make this 38. It's nearly close enough. They are so small values, so we won't see them in the visualizations. Okay, let's create our railings. Let's start with the other one. In order to achieve that, we are going to use railing tool. Let's click that and go to settings here. And in the quick settings, in the segments, I'm gonna use the glass panel railing segment. For the inner post, I'm going to delete them. Or if we can go back, no, we cannot. I'm gonna make them invisible. All right, here we have none. We can go with that. And post are none also. Okay. But reading is not none. Let's just delete this one. Click OK. Hit the spacebar and click other part of the stair. We have some helpers here. We can delete it. This fixing. Maybe we can offset the readings a little inside from this offset box. Let's make this 10. Or minus 10. Or minus 5. There you go. By the way, I don't want to see this part. And we can delete it like this. Okay, let's continue with the inner part. I'm going to click the Alt on the keyboard. And I'm going to change the settings. And we have thickness for this. Let's try to changing this and apply here. And let's change the material with this beige color. Maybe a little thinner value, 20 or 15. And let's change the reference point. Let's make it zero or seven point five minus. By the way, I have decided to delete this inner stringer and use the railing. Because as you can realize the graphic visibility of the railing is better. Let's go to left and delete it from the structure menu 
and this just turn off the stringer lift. Just like that. I will change the segment bottom to minus 30. And maybe more and it will do the trick. It seems convenient here. There you go. Let's apply this once more. And connect the reference edges together. Alright, we have one more thing to do, which is this part will be more effective and decorative. So, in order to achieve that, the easiest way of doing this, the copying the remaining railing to here, all of them, not only reference, but here we have the associate settings, let's change this into static and copy once more there you go and align them maybe we can use floor plan or if we can see it Not that one. Right click it and click select on floor plan. And rotate from center. This point will be attached with this point. There you go. And change the elevation. To do that we can go to north elevation here. Or another elevation. Yeah, we can see clearly. And more stuff. Just like that. And this is optional. You can right click this and turn this into more. And click split. And split with the ground. There we go. This is how you can create concrete spiral staircase in ArchKit. I think this was a bit challenging and it was hard for me, but we tried together and achieved with the vibes I feel from you. Thank you very much guys, we have supporters for the channel. If you want to support the channel too, you can go to my Patreon page. You can support me there and with that you can also reach the project files, more tutorials and much more libraries. Until next time, have a nice day.